anticipating a stop. When you anticipate in your stop, how would you say you're doing it? There's several different ways you can do it. Do you? It. You're <laughs> not doing it. So not you may doing. not be reading the cow. Yeah, that's exactly. So if you're not reading the cow, that's the only time you want to beat a cow. You don't want to beat a cow in the turn. You want to beat a cow in the stop. Right. Because when you go to stop, you want to know when that cow is going to stop. You want to set before that before the before you need to you see what I'm saying you want to set you want to be there but you want to set before you're ready to yeah. to give that horse that that cue to set down you know me sure don't want to be riding so I would say that goes along with reading the cow and that you need to be cowy you need to watch that cow just think about this if your horse ain't watching that cow it ain't no fun if your horse goes like this and turns its head like that we've all had it happen right so when you do, you think about getting your ears up on the cow. I know it may sound silly or whatever, but you take it as you want to. You'll get something out of it, okay? And you, you take yourself and you're like, okay, I'm going to watch that cow as intent as my horse. On the showmanship part of it, you want to sell yourself. All we are is trying to sell ourselves to those judges. Those five guys up there, all we're doing is we're selling ourselves just as smooth and quick clear as a picture being painted okay and that that's going to be our showmanship never look like is on your cuts it is very crucial to me a weekend show is the hardest place to get showed there is but there's a way we can surely get around it i, I want to bring something to you about what the butt does what the left shoulder does what the right shoulder does and what the head does because those four things on a cow dicks takes your cut does anybody have any clue what I'm talking about right there? What's the butt do? 